All right, this name. is Penny Saving with Daisy Craven. We're gonna go through the Penny Saver here for y'all in case you don't get it in your neck of the woods. This is for uh, August 28th, 29th through September 4th. Oh my God, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Senior picture and clock, $100 for both. You can put that right in your bathroom, right above the commode and it looks so nice. That's a real American bathroom right there. That's something you can be proud of. Roll up blinds, Jimi Hendrix, acts as bold as love. Bamboo roll up blinds, $40. You gotta put those over the window so you can walk around in your underwear. And the neighbors don't see you get upset and call the cops on you. That's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty. Telling me I'm nasty. It's in my house. Dale Earnhardt's not upset I walk around in my underwear. Cremation niche at St. Mary's Cemetery, $3,300 for them to set you on fire and put you in a box. I will do that for you for a six pack of beer and a carton of smokes. You come to me and I will set you on fire in my backyard and I'll put you in a box and I'll give you to your loved ones. Foster care. Become a foster parent, take on a heathen, and you'll get $250 reimbursement monthly. $250 to waste your life away on some kid that's never going to appreciate you. Go for it. Men's suit. 50 waist. Is that skinny? Or is that big? That's big. 50 waist? That's a big man. 29 in length. Wait a minute. That's a short big man. That's rotund, if you ask me. Only used once. He probably had a heart attack. He probably died in that goddamn suit. And now they're selling it for $75. $75. Young men's jeans. Three pairs. I just heard about three young men going missing the other day. Pantsless. Did you guys hear about that on the news? They had it on Channel 48. It was crazy. Bissell carpet cleaner, quick steamer, lightweight, good condition, 50 bucks. You know, um, we had an unfortunate incident in my house and there was a lot of blood that needed to be cleaned up and I got a Bissell and it comes right out, right out. I would suggest purchasing that just in case you have an accident at your house. Ice cream maker, Hamilton Beach, 1.5 quart capacity. That's pretty good, 40 bucks still in the box. Who left it in the box? You bought an ice cream maker and you didn't even use it to make any ice cream? My grandma's turning over in her grave right now. She's making ice cream by hand. Ten VHS movies. They don't tell you what movies they are, but you can have them for two dollars a piece. That could be anything. That could be child porn. You could be purchasing child porn and then look who comes out the frickin' closet and catches you and you're on to catch a predator and you're going to prison for about three to five. You didn't even know. Penny saver. It could, it could be a hassle. Free mattress and box screen, box springs, queen, Simmons beauty rest, clean. I don't believe that for one bit. It might have been clean. You don't know what's going on free bed. Who gives a free bed? Who wants a free bed? If you want a free bed, you could probably go down to Roseville Road and pick one right up off the side and you and it'll be right there. And it'll probably be just as clean as this bed in the penny saver. But then they got a headboard and a footboard for you. It's antique style, but they want $100. Well, if it's old as shit, why am I going to pay full price for it? One bar stool. One bar stool eighteen dollars or best offer you can bargain you can bargain for the bar stool adult underwear perfect brand size size large ten packs for ninety dollars you know I want I wouldn't mind having me some adult underwear because sometimes I just don't want to get up you know what I mean you've been you had a long day and you're watching something on the TV I don't have none of that uh TiVo crap, so I can't be rewinding and pausing my TV like the rich folk do. You know, maybe I just don't want to miss that right there. That could be really important stuff on my soap operas 
And I'm gonna miss out because I gotta go to the damn bathroom. If I get adult underwear, I won't have to worry about it. I can just sit there and wait. Sit there all day. Oh my god. Tailgate bar. 2003 Ford F-150. 100 or best offer. It's a tailgate bar. That would be so great. You could take that to anything. You could take that to, you know, babies being born at the hospital. We tailgate the hospital when babies are being born. Hell yeah. Have a party right out there for that baby. Come out and see all their family members there. Drunk and high. Yeah, we smoked the weed too because we all got medical cards. They got one of those uh, uh, medical marijuana shops right there. Right there in town. It's all... Uh, Dr. Green Thumb, he's awesome. He's super sweet. He sells us He sells us all the pot too. He's got the best weed in town. It's great. But he's a doctor for he went to the uh old community college. About two towns over. Real, real smart guy. Graduated the eighth grade three times. Real smart guy. Echo blower. You know, I got a cousin named Echo. <laughs> and this might be her ad. Echo Blower. That sounds about right. Go Echo. Do your thing, honey. Echo Weed Eater. Man, she's got tons of tons of ads up in this thing. There's a goddamn tiara. Converts to a necklace. Holy cow. That's multitasking jewelry right there. So when you get a headache from wearing it, you can wrap it around your neck. Choke on it big box of Barbies. They're probably all naked too. <laughs> Always a seeing naked Barbies. All dirty ass little kids taking their clothes off. Put some clothes on those damn Barbies. Putting them in awkward positions and stuff. Children need Jesus. Need Jesus in their lives. You know, I got one of these Metro phones, right? So they recycle the number every, every uh, 60 days, I think it is. So I get me a metro phone and I get me a new number because I don't want certain people getting a hold of me anymore. You know, stop drinking for like a week and I was trying to change my life. Well, I'm, ba I'm back to drinking because I got this new metro phone and my number was recycled after 60 days. Well, the person that had my phone before me was like a prostitute or something and she owed everybody money and everybody was looking for her trying to kill her. And stuff like that. So they'd be calling my phone. And I'd be like, hi, how you doing? You know? And they'd be like, bitch, I'm going to kill you. And saying crazy things to me like, Kiki, you owe me $5,000. Or you need to bring me my truck back. I'm like, I don't know, Kiki. And they're like, you sound like Kiki. I'm like, I'm not Kiki. I'm not Kiki. I'm Daisy. And they're like, no, bitch, you sound like Kiki. We're coming to find you. And, you know, it just turned into a whole thing where... I was just getting all these phone calls and all these phone calls and I changed my number to stop drinking. I got so stressed out from all those crazy phone calls. I started drinking again and then I started telling them, come meet me, I'll meet you. And then, you know, we met at the bar and we went and found Kiki and we killed her. And we settled it right there. Now we're the best of friends. This has been another Penny Saving with Daisy Craven and I'll be back next week to tell you all about the great deals that you can find in the Penny Saver and uh, if you want to get any other information uh, you know move to a town that has the Penny Saver. Have a good day.